night. So it's finally the day you've been waiting for your entire life. You finally made some music that you can truly be proud of. Something you can show your friends and family. Finally, they'll see that you have a place in this world and that you're not just a delusional lunatic. But before that happens, something very important needs to take place. Okay, this intro is fucked. You've made your brand new. <laughs> you created your SoundCloud profile that really just represents who you are. And now it's time to upload that first track. Oh, oh shit, I need some uh, epic, awesome album art. Extremely upset manga girl. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm really a grown ass man. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, finally! The song is published. Now all you have to do is go to sleep and wait for the lights to roll in. Oh, oh wow, it's it's totally morning now. Let's go check on how this song's doing. What? What the frick? No plays! What the heck? This is my best song! I'm not happy right now! Does this seem familiar to you? Do you drop your songs to the empty void? Well, have no fret, because today I am here to teach you, uh, we're gonna learn how to promote your shitty music. We're gonna go over a bunch of fucking methods and rank their effectiveness out of five and annoyingness out of five. Let's get into it. The first method we're gonna go over is the most common method by far, and it's this. I'm gonna get no fuck. I'm gonna find it all. Now this is more common than you might think. If you listen to any like mainstream shit on SoundCloud, the comments are full of shit like that. Oh my god, there's so many fucking sex bots. I'm gonna have to like censor out. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, bro! What the fuck is this? Check out my song. Let's see, is this guy heat or what? Thing about you ain't suited to a tricks. Hey, you're too scrawny. Go lift some weights, and even then, it would be. Oh my god. Help me get to 150 followers. Help me get to 150 followers. Check out my song. Check out my song. Check out my song. Help me get to 150 followers. Can you shut the fuck up? It says you retired from rap. Why are you still trying to promote your shit? Go hear my music, please. Let's see what. Let's see. I'm. I bet Alex RRR with the Supreme Skateboards as the profile pic has. What the fuck? Oh my god, that's actual. That is. Yep, that is. That is vagina. Okay, wow. Hello, my name is Monroe. I don't appreciate any support on my latest track. I don't want to be here. It's hard finding organic ways to promote music. Pussy wear like Niagara. Bitch, I stay hard, no Viagra. Spitting for the hell of it regardless. I'm a statue. Fake. Climbing up the gleam and escalator. <sighs> Beating up the beat like I'm a chronic masturbator. Fuck. Beating up the beat like I'm a chronic masturbator. Jesus Christ. One more. Yeah, I'm popping these perks just for fun. Yo, give my new song Blind a chance. Oh, I'll give you a chance, Jad. Yo, yo, set. <laughs> oh my god, dies of mid. This gets an effectiveness rating of 2 out of 10. Annoyingness, 5 out of 5. And people say any exposure is good exposure, but this is not fucking true. Have some fucking self respect and don't do this shit. Uh, next one is this little site, Repost Exchange. Repost Exchange is your one stop shop for shitty music. Oh yeah, yep, that's, that's me. Not be eligible! You're gonna have to fucking log in with my actual. I don't think I've ever used it. <laughs> Let's give a few of these songs a listen. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. I don't know why that was so funny. Featured campaign. You already know this one's gonna be good. Mentally I've been gave up with these drugs, give a nigga hoes, give a nigga what? Mentally, I've been gay. Mentally, I've been gay. So basically, the way this site works, uh, correct, to get, to get your, and you can, is you listen to other people's songs on this fucking page, and you can repost or follow, and it'll give you a certain amount of credits. Now, the site's always ripping you off. It's like the casino. Now, you may be thinking, I suck someone off, they suck me off. Like, what's the big deal? The problem is, you're not getting any fucking play outside of this website. The engagement you're getting from this website is not good. <laughs> no one on this website actually likes each other's music. Maybe I'm tripping. If you go to any of these 
song? Like, look at this fucking ratio. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. It's one step above, like, botting your shit because I guess it's real people, but it's real people acting like bots. It's not organic growth. What are these fucking NPC ass comments? This build up fire and the message is there for real for real. He is too goaded bro. Can hear the effort put in bro. The concept on this track is dope. Nice work. Anyways, you get my point. It's just a fucking terrible idea. If you're using this site, you are getting fucked. No one has heard of any of these motherfuckers. Oh wow, this song has 302k. Man, I bet it's a really, I bet it's a straight banger. <coughs> this is fucking t really good and deserving of all the attention it has received. All right, time for a rating. Repost Exchange gets an effectiveness rating of two out of five. I don't want to put it on the same level as bots, but it might as well be. Annoyingness, five out of five. If you look at any of these motherfuckers' accounts, they are just spam with reposts. Reposts that I guarantee you are fucking worth listening to. They got me up. Now they got me up. Now they got me up. Next method. So the next method I have is Discord. On Discord, there's a million bajillion servers where you can just fucking send your music. For example, let's go to fucking, uh, <laughs> uh, Aries. Self promo. Okay, you see this? Send it up. This is what the shit's made for. It's made for people to send their fucking shitty music. And maybe it'll get played by a few randoms and maybe they might like it. of an awkward time to level up in the <laughs> anyways this gets an effectiveness rating of two of I don't know, three out of ten and an annoyingness rating of one out of ten if you're doing it in the general chats shut the fuck up it's a five out of five all right the next method is in people's dms this one's pretty self-explanatory you send your link in in the instagram dms or discord dms or twitter dms or oh, or or giddy soundcloud dms make their day i gotta write someone a message the effectiveness of this depends. If you're tight with a homie and you like and repost each other's shit, suck each other off a little bit, like it's chill. Personally, when I get SoundCloud songs in my DMs, you get blocked. Effectiveness, I'll give it I'll give it a three out of ten. Annoyingness, five out of five. Please stop sending songs in my DMs. Next method is free to SoundCloud plays from any random website. Free 500 plus SoundCloud plays for free? Email address. That fucking Hotmail. Um, so basically, so this is me editing this. Um, it is January 2nd, 2024. I've been trying to edit this video for a month. In this part of the video, the caffeine sounds like it's starting to wear off and I start talking about nothing. Like, I kid you not, there is 20 minutes of footage of me going to these random SoundCloud play sites and then realizing I can't sign up for any of them because it needs an email. So, instead of suffering through all of that, I'm going to act as ChatGPT summarizing the entire book for you the night your essay is due. So, let's get started. So the first thing I talk about is obviously those SoundCloud sites. All of them are bots. Pretty self-explanatory. Effectiveness, zero out of five. Annoyingness, five out of five. The next thing I talk about is TikTok, and whew, ooh, this is a this is a juicy one, dude. If you can do TikTok and mentally handle it, phew, man, you're gonna be well off. I'm not even gonna lie. If you can manage to be consistent and post every day, you will no doubt gain traction. You will annoy the hell out of your fans, but it all comes at a cost, right? So effectiveness, five out of five. Annoyingness, mm, four out of five. The next thing I talk about is Instagram. A lot of artists, their main way of showing that they dropped and stuff is Instagram, but Instagram hates this. Instagram hates it when users leave the app to go listen to a song or anything, even if it's just for a second and they get right back on they silence anything that has a link on it or anything that drags the user to the bio to click it to be popular on instagram you basically have to be doing instagram things so you can't just be promoting your music effectiveness uh three out of five and annoyingness uh i'll give it a two out of five all right the next thing i talk about is instagram promo now if you don't know what instagram promo is it's like those accounts that are like is he next up and bro 
I can't really tell you how effective this is because I've never done it. I'd imagine it's somewhat effective, even if your music is trash. But really, like, oh my god, it's so cringe. I can't really say anything, so effectiveness is unknown, but annoyingness is a 5 out of 5. Next method, Spotify quote-unquote promotion. Now, if you go on Fiverr or any sort of website that claims they do Spotify promotion, it's bullshit. It is all just bullshit. What they'll do is they'll put you in a playlist of playlists that bots play over and over. And if all you care about is the bag, then go for it, I guess. It's fine. You're just never going to gain any real traction ever. Once you get stuck in the bot algorithm, there's no way out. It's just not a good look, man. Anyways, effectiveness, 0 out of 5. Annoyingness, 5 out of 5. Because I already know motherfuckers who do this are going to be like, Thanks for all the support on the song. All right, next thing. Spotify playlists. Now, this might be the most effective way as a small artist artist to gain any sort of traction. Go to playlists with music that's similar to yours and find curators, find their ads, DM them. Don't be like hella annoying, be a human. Like don't send the same spam message to every single account. Like make it personal. Anyways, effectiveness, I give this a five out of five. Annoyingness, I'll give this a two out of five just because of the playlist curators. I feel bad for them. Anyways, that's about all the methods I can think of. Thanks for 30K? Jesus Christ. I feel like I was saying thanks for 1k like a month ago. I haven't been able to be as active as I want to be just because of school and all that. Luckily, we passed this semester. But yeah, hopefully this semester will be a lot better. I'm really hoping to post more and stuff. Um, that's about it. So yeah.